So guys, this is part two of my vlog about walking along science world and this time I will show you the, the other side which is Olympic Village. Let's go guys! So the Olympic Village was built in 2010 uh, to house athletes from all over the world who came to Vancouver for the games. So the Olympic Village guys is just five minutes uh, away from downtown Vancouver and that is from the west and from the east where I came from it will only take 10 minutes at approximately 50 times the size of uh, live sparrows the birds at Olympic Village in Vancouver are a much loved attraction just look at this one as they say from ghost town to success story it's the legacy of Vancouver's Olympic Village from 10 years after the Olympic Games so this live sparrow is one of the icons of the Olympic Village there are a lot of fine dining restaurants here liquor stores craft beer and a lot more so every time I come here I make sure I visit my favorite liquor store and yeah they have um, you know our own very own Filipino beer and of course inside it is very elegantly designed and yeah look at this it's awesome huh and here it is I will get my drink for today Actually, I'm not gonna drink this. Meron lang akong collection sa bahay. Pag may bisita, ayan. San Miguel Red Horse. Oh well, I personally like uh, wine. Kaya... So when you visit the village today, especially when it is summer, um, and the waterfront is clogged with parents pushing strollers, and also people walking their dogs and of course in summer there are a lot of entertainments uh, happening here oh just like this one for kids he said he is the bubble guy so this guy makes his own bubble solution Look at those bubbles. They're really cool. Matagal silang mag pop. So when I was here, I was entertained by these bubbles. So I stayed and watched, you know, the bubbles popped. And of course, aside from the bubbles, you can still see the science world and the buildings. And the sky train, aquabus, and yeah, it's amazing. Wow, this is really cool. It took uh, 30 seconds for this bubble before it popped. And look at that.
So guys, if you haven't seen part 1 of my blog, Walking Along Science World, um, kindly check the videos and you will see part 1. And this is just the continuation of uh, that blog. And there is Roger's Arena. Here in Vancouver, guys, it is very normal to see kayaking activities, boating, uh, cruising, because we have a lot of uh, lakes and oceans and rivers here in the city itself. You don't really need to go to the island uh, to experience kayaking. Uh, we have a lot of kayaking uh, places here, just like Granville Island in Falls Creek. Let's continue walking and I will bring you to a small area of this uh, Olympic village where you can see a lot of birds. I am blackbirds. Uh, sa atin kasi kapag blackbirds parang sinasabi nila o malas. Really ba yung tagak ba yun or uwak? I think that is uwak. But here, they shelter the birds hanggang sa mag-migrate sila sa ibang lugar during winter time. So, this place is like the bird shelter. Ayan. Nakita niyo dyan ang daming birds. Ayan, guys. It is just nice to see, guys, uh, that here in Vancouver and, and even in the other parts of the country, uh, lahat ng bagay pinapahalagahan, lalo na yung mga bagay na may buhay, especially the animals, um, the wild, lahat um, And even in the midst of the city, they manage to build like this shelter, this little park for wild birds and let us take a closer look sa mga birds dito na nasa um, paligid so let's take a closer look sa mga crow dito ayan the crows or uwak sa atin sa Pilipinas Ayan lang sila guys. Ang dami niyan dun sa kabila.
So, ayan guys, ang dami nila. Actually, konti pa nga lang yan. Hindi ko binidyo yung marami. Because it's too much. So, from here, you can still see the science world over there. Ayan siya. And, yeah, it is in the city. So right now guys, uh, Vancouver Olympic Village is a pretty expensive place to live, uh, work and hang out. Um, yeah, um, maraming masyadong controversies ang governo to, but it became very popular after the Olympic Games in 2010. And of course, aside from uh, the village is very accessible. It is actually in the middle of uh, the east and the west. Kaya malapit siyang puntahan. And, you know, people flock here in summer or in or during sunny days to walk and do some activities and hang out. So, yeah, uh, this is the end of my vlog about Science World and Olympic Village, part 1 and part 2. Thank you for watching. If you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, share, comment down below, and click the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Brenza Guzman, Vancouver, Canada.